There are several reasons you may want to delete a face from a model. In the case of a solid, you can delete a single face and force a solid to become a surface model. You can also remove and replace faces in a single step using the delete face feature. Let's begin with this example. This is an ordinary solid part. If for any reason you wanted to convert this into a surface model, all you have to do is remove a face. The easiest way to accomplish this is to use the delete face feature from the surfaces toolbar. Before selecting a face to remove, be sure the delete option is enabled in the property manager. I'll click OK and you can see the model is a surface body. Next, let's look at the same delete face feature, this time using the delete and patch option. I'll use this part as an example. A sweep feature was used to create some geometry, but a portion is protruding from the top of the solid. Instead of making adjustments to the sweep feature to avoid this problem, I'll simply use the delete face feature, making sure the delete and patch option is enabled. I'll select the protruding faces and click OK to eliminate the problem. The last example of the delete face feature we'll take a look at is the delete and fill option. This part has a series of complex fillets that generated several small faces. These types of extra faces can lead to problems in downstream applications, such as rapid prototyping and CNC machining. They can also take away from the aesthetics of consumer products. By using the Delete Face feature with Delete and Fill selected, I can click several of the small faces and replace them with a single smooth face. Be aware that when using the Delete and Fill option, you're changing the original geometry. The faces are actually being removed and replaced with something very close, but you don't have control over the exact deviation with the original geometry. To minimize distortion, select only small groups of adjacent faces with this feature.